All right, check it out. In this video, I'll be showing you guys the new Montana acrylic water-based markers. I just did a review on the smaller size ones that are for like canvas work and stuff. But uh, here's some of the big tagging size markers. So they've got a nice broad tip on the top, a uh, nice kind of chisel tip there, and uh, really good for square lines as always. Bigger size for tagging. And I've got a few different colors here as well as I'll be doing a few different surface tests with them. So uh, let's jump right into it. All right, so if you're unfamiliar with these markers from Montana, it's pretty straightforward as far as uh, the markers. They're water-based, so they're not toxic at all. They're really okay to use in any situation. So with the smaller ones, it was okay to use them inside and indoors and close quarters. Same with these, but you'll be using these more for uh, tagging and whatnot, so it's not as huge of an issue. But at the same time, definitely got to look out for opacity in that situation so let's see how they work out they've all juiced up so let's test this out so this is the shock green light on a standard painted surface next up we've got the shock yellow light Shock pink. And last up, shock pink light. Alright, so now we'll do a plastic test. So I don't have a big sheet of metal to try this out on, but I'll pick the lightest color, which in this case is going to be the shock yellow, and I'll try it out on a piece of metal to show you how it works on a nice uh, smooth surface. Alright, so check it out. After we've done a bunch of different surfaces, we can kind of see where the paint markers work best and the little different characteristics that they have. So starting with the paint on a plastic surface, you can really see the true colors showing through in that it's a non-porous surface and the colors are super vibrant. They come off the white and in this case the green backing really well and I can't say enough about them. They worked great there as well as that's kind of reflected on the metal. Um, the metal worked great. It was nice and non-porous as well. So it was able to flow easily so that there was no like uh, bumps or anything like I found on the plain uh, painted surface test, but it also was able to give a nice coating of paint, giving a good opacity as well, especially being that this is the lightest color, the yellow, it looked and worked great. So coming on to the paint, uh, you can see that it was a little bit more porous in that the paint did set in. It wasn't as opaque with the lighter colors, but at the same time, you can still read the tag, it still looks pretty good. Um, the darker colors, like this pink, went right over the black, no questions asked. That was great. Um, the gr lime green worked well too. Um, not as good, but 
lighter colors, you should expect that nothing's perfect. So that being said, pinks worked great. The other two uh, set in a little bit much. And then moving on to the cardboard, everybody's wondering why I chose cardboard. It's because it's really a very porous surface and it'll allow the paint to set in extremely, in extreme I guess, to um, compare it to the other ones. So in this case, it did set in a fair amount. So you can see pretty much the maximum it would set in. So even though it's a brown background and it's set in, you can still read the tags. Uh, the green one got a little ripped, unfortunately, but you can still see the gist of it there. So that being said, um, after using them in the small scale and using them on the larger scale in the tagging size marker, I really like these markers. They flow nice and well. It's not like I was ending up half dry through a tag and needed to reduce it or anything. I used them when I pumped them up, went to tag, and was good to go. So that being said, they flow well. They work well on a varied amount of surfaces. Obviously. You have to be cognizant that a uh, painted wall they might not work as great on, but in the same time, I don't see why you'd be painting on a wall with these um, more so uh, post boxes and uh, some plastic-esque things. Obviously, you're not going to be tagging the side of uh, this exact trash can, but I hope this uh, review kind of gave you an idea and highlighted the pros and cons to the marker. I like using them a lot. I can't say enough about these pink on the lime green backing. Those look so good. Those came out nice, and uh, definitely go uh, check out 33 Third. They hooked me up with these, as well as they could probably hook you up with some if you're interested in getting some. So before stuff. I go, I want to highlight some things about the markers. You can see that there's a fair amount of paint in the tips of uh, the markers after I use them, and that's basically just from the juicing, but it really was a tight seal on the marker, so uh, it wasn't like leaking out the side. I got some pink on the edge of this one, but the markers kept the paint inside, which is a good thing. You don't have to roll around with bags in your pockets, and uh, that being said, the body of the marker is clear. I mentioned that before, but basically if you want to fill it up with other paint, it's good to go, and the top is uh, just reverse twist, easy to refill. So, I mean, if you're buying one marker, buy some extra refill paint. I know they offer it from Montana as well as other brands if you're interested in those. But uh, the nibs work great. It was a little rough on a bumpy surface as most uh, markers like this are. So just expect that. Um, and even though it was rough on the like rough surface, it wasn't as smooth. Um, that being said, the nib did hold up. It was really durable. I didn't have any like fragments or figments of it like falling off or just scraping off and giving me hairs uh, while I was writing with them. So that being said, if you want to check these out, be sure to head over to 33thirdcom where I got mine. They can hook you guys up and if you use the coupon code, I will also get a little bit of help from that. So it'll put towards uh, making more of these videos and it'll help me make helpful reviews on other products uh, much like this. So if you like the video, be sure to leave it a rating as well as check out the other videos in the series. I've got some of the black line alcohol markers as well as some of the smaller acrylic markers that are more designed for a canvas work and black book stuff. So that's going to do it for me. Be sure to check out those other videos. Peace.